Hey guys, welcome back to Xander Dreams, where we discuss everything business and entrepreneurship. So as I'm sure all of you know by now that to start a business, you need to do some extensive research on the topic that you're interested in. You want to be able to offer something your competitors aren't offering. And it could be better customer service or a cheaper but still effective version of a popular product. Starting a skincare line is definitely going to be a challenge because this is an oversaturated industry. And if you want to be competitive, a good idea would be to think of a niche to target. To get a share of the saturated market, you need to know your customers. Determine who you want as a customer and find out what appeals to them. This will help you develop successful skincare products. Started a skincare business during lockdown and this is how I did it. I set my website up using WordPress and then I got my supplies together from my tiny spoons to my spatulas to the containers for my skincare. Now it's time to begin formulating because I hand make British pink clay face masks and once I got the perfect formula it was time to begin testing on myself, on my family and on my friends before getting it sent off to a lab to get tested too. Another important thing is to know the trends in the market. It's really important to keep up to date on the beauty industry and skincare market trends. As someone interested in skincare, I'm sure you've heard of hyaluronic acid, retinol, just to mention a few. And these are ingredients that are very popular in the current market and consumers are looking to buy any product with these ingredients in it. So make sure that you are incorporating the latest trends of the marketplace into your product line. Before creating your skincare product line, you obviously need to know what trouble areas you are going to target. Is it acne, dry skin or oily skin? And to come up with a decision, you need to do extensive research on the skincare products that you want to offer. Are you looking to offer a product that protects from sun damage or a product that will help with anti-aging? Is it a full line or is it just one product? Sometimes it's even a product that you have come up with yourself. You know, some people are just so much into skincare that they try to make little concoctions that end up helping them in the end. And you know, sometimes you want to share that product with some people and you also get some coin in the process. I mean, heck, you could even build a million dollar empire from just that concoction alone. Maybe it's a special ingredient that makes your product stand out and that is what helps you against the competition or products that are already existing. But before you get started and sell that product, you obviously have to do some research on that ingredient and make sure that it is a stable and safe formula. So you can't just test it out on yourself. This is a very vital step that you cannot skip because you don't want to deal with lawsuits down the road. Here's how I make oat and honey soap bars. So the first thing I use was shea butter mountain pour soap base. I use 100% whole grain oats. I got these two different shaped soap molds. I also used vanilla essential oil and this double boiler insert and some organic honey. So at this point, I usually start boiling some water and then I take the shea butter base out and I start to cut it up. I cut it up into smaller pieces just so that it melts easier. And then once I'm done cutting it up, I start the double boiling process. And this helps to maintain the nutrients and the healing properties of the products you're using as opposed to just heating in the pot. I took one fourth cup of the oats, I blended them up and then I poured them into the melted soap base. And I also added about 30 drops of vanilla essential oil and two teaspoons of honey and then I stirred that up. Then I get ready to start pouring the soap into the molds. I let it sit for a couple hours, pop them out, and then you have your oat and honey soap. If you have an original skincare formula, make sure that you protect your intellectual property and safeguard your products. These are just some of the essential things that you need to do to get started on your business. Of course, there's so much more that goes into it and I cannot tell you everything in this video because I've never had a skincare line. But the main thing here is to do your research and learn about the ingredients that you're interested in or just know the basics of the product that you are interested in offering. If you are interested in offering, let's say maybe a sunscreen protector, you just make sure that you learn about products that are already existing 
and learn about the specific ingredients in it and how they have an impact on skin or just general knowledge on what exactly the product does. Alrighty, so I hope this video was helpful in some way to you guys. If you need more insight on starting a skincare line, then just make sure to do your research and get some knowledge on what you're interested in. There is no shortcut into starting a successful business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!